Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, short video today. Uh, this is the seventh electronic learning board tutorial. It is using uh, uh, potentiometers, variable resistors, as voltage dividers. So what I've got here is the schematic symbol for a potentiometer. Uh, two sides of the resistor, pins one and three, and then uh, pin two is, is called the wiper. And the wiper can be tuned to point at any area of the resistor. So we can actually use that as a voltage divider right here. This is the circuit equivalent. And this is the kind of uh, potentiometer we'll be using in our lab section of this video. And it's uh, a Burns uh, potentiometer, three pins. There's a little tuning. There's a little tuning bar at the top. You use a little tiny screwdriver to change the resistance or change the position of the wiper. Rather, uh, we'll be using 50 50k resistors, potentiometers, five five zero three zeros. So 503, 50 50k. 50,000 ohms, and so what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to basically point using by by turning this turning this resistor, we'll be able to point our pin our to pin to our wiper to any area of that resistor. So if I measure right here, I'll likely see close to five volts. If I measure here, maybe four volts. Right at the half point, 2.5 volts. Down at nearing nearing ground, I'll likely see about one volt because all of the the voltages dropped along the upper half of the resistor. So right here, if we had, say, 40,000 ohms here, or 40k ohms and 10k ohms here, we'd lose 4 volts along this resistor, so we'd have 1 volt left to drop along the remaining 10k. So I actually have a voltage divider tutorial, voltage dividers and, and um, comparators, and I'll link that below. And I want you to watch that. If you really want to understand how voltage dividers work, there's all the calculations. They're very easy, basic arithmetic, and really you'll come home with a lot. You'll 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 get a lot out of it. I promise. So what we're going to actually do in our circuit is we're going to we're going to uh, basically hook one of these up, and we're going to change the voltage on the wiper. Now, what we would use this for, potentially, actually there's a lot of different applications for this, but on the electronics learning board, we'll be using this to create voltage references for our comparators. Now, again, you have to watch the comparators video, comparator slash uh, voltage divider video below. It explains the functions perfectly. Um, on the board, again, there are two uh, voltage dividers, so you can basically create any reference between 5 volts and zero volts, so five volts and ground. Just by turning this knob, you can change the voltage on it. All you have to do is measure between ground and the wiper, and there you go. So why don't we hook this up onto a breadboard and, and actually see the circuit in action. So I've got five volts on pin one, my wiper on pin two, blue, and ground on pin three. My wiper's connected to my multimeter. Right now I've got it turned all the way left. As you can see, here's a little tuning, tuning, uh, cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start turning it right. We're going to we're going to point at different parts of the resistor. This is a 10 turn uh, potentiometer, variable resistor, precision. So you can tune easily to the exact voltage you want. Let's tune it to 1.5. There you go, 1.5. So I'll keep turning it and I can make any voltage anywhere in between. Now you can't use this as a power supply, as a variable power supply because uh, there's so much resistance on the line and you won't be able to support any current. Nothing, n no useful current anyway. And there's the high end of the resistor. Right, so I've got 5 volts roughly on the input, or on my pin 1, and so I've turned it to the absolute max. So now we, that's the easiest variable resistor we can make. Um, you can determine you can make your own very, or resistor dividers easily using two resistors and watching the video link below. But if you want a quick and easy way to do it, potentiometers are the way to go. There are potentiometers come in many shapes and sizes. There's a three pin, or of course there's a three pin. There's a uh, 100K potentiometer, three pins. This is a precision multi-turn potentiometer as well. They all serve the same function. So um, make sure to check out our electronics learning board. I appreciate your time. It's on pre-order right now. Uh, links below. Check them out. Visit us at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. Take care, guys.